This is Isaac Deutscher speaking to American students at the height of student activism in the 1960s. Quote, you are effervescently active on the margin of social life and the workers are passive right at the core of it. That is the tragedy of our society. If you do not deal with this contrast, you will be defeated. And I think that um, that for me is the crux of what we're talking about. So I don't want an effervescent anti-racism at the margins of social life. I would far rather, I think we agree with this, right? Yeah. I'd far rather a slightly sort of diluted conversation and get to the very heart of working class life and conversations in this country. And that's not just on the telly, by the way. That's, you know, that's in all manner of places and it's going to take probably the best part of the rest of our lives. So I often think that that kind of that effervescence, yeah, it does tend to be in major cities. It does tend to be among younger university graduates, that kind of conversation. While I agree with it, I question, and maybe this is what Michael was trying to say in a roundabout way. <laughs> no, I agree. Oh. No, the thing is, I agree with you. I completely agree with you. And if I didn't make that compromise on some level, I wouldn't be hustling for Corbyn. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have any engagement with the Labour Party at all. Mm. Probably, right? But it's be- it's because I agree with you. I want to be at the centre of people's um, political, social lives up and down the country, and have anti-racist change emanate from yeah. there. What I'm saying is that I don't think which that would be that, very, very slow. Right? But I don't think that that aim is being considered enough or being actively pursued as a goal at this moment. I think it's being evaded. What that's, valuable conversation? That's what, yeah. Okay. That's what my point is. It's not saying that like, oh my god, like Jeremy Corbyn's given up on no borders. <laughs> like, cause, because I think, because I think that's a dumb point to make. To be honest, he might have once believed in it though. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Probably did. Probably did. Probably three years ago. (laughs) (laughs) But but what my point is is that I don't think that that's being considered because I think that you know in terms of going back to what the McTurninator had said about the difference between tactics and strategy, I think we've got anti-racist tactics. I don't think we have anti-racist strategy. 